got my pair of Timberlands on because I was doing a lot of walking today. I'd shoot some photos. It's kind of raining and nothing's coming out the way I wanted to. Um, I'm also testing a new scanner over here. I'm uh, testing a uh, Whistler scanner. And uh, it's working out really well. I received a list of uh, channels from, uh, from a rail worker. And he gave me uh, what's called a uh, ghost list. I've got a whole bunch of channels here that are scanning and I've got a whole bunch more, almost another 80 channels I've got a program in here. So all I'll just do is pick up the uh, frequencies between the locomotives, bridges, rail workers, yard, uh, just about any anything uh, that's going on between the train. Because this one here is programmed strictly for a train. Uh, that's what I like about the Whistler. You're able to flash it. And you're able to do a bunch of shit with it that you can't do with the uh, other scanners. I believe this one here is the uh, bridge station outside of New Westminster and then 70 will be the yard here it's all part of doing your homework you want to test this stuff you have and you want to play with it you want to you want to learn about it I'm at Braid station a trains going by give me a chance to speak a little bit about the scanner and a chance to speak a little bit about these boots I recommend that people again do their homework they put on a pair of boots that they feel comfortable with and they walk around the track you see what kind of traction they get from the boots if they get crappy traction and they slip, like these boots, I only wear them after you get off a freight train. I put them on and I go for long extended walks back towards a yard or towards where I want to go. And this here will be the BNSF yard uh, 70, I think 160, 575. Um, it's good to go to yards and it's good to make sure that your scanner is well programmed that you're able to pick up the signals frequencies from the yards and from the road um, I recommend people do this i recommend if you're going to hop rail you get yourself a scanner uh, this one here is newer than the other scanners i have and i'm looking for a digital scanner too as well sometimes signals are digital and, um, and that's that so back to the boots and I make sure you got really comfortable boots on. You want to make sure that um, you're able to walk around and not slip. And when you get on a train, you want to make sure you got grip. You want to make sure there's a slight heel so you don't slip off the rail and your foot get cut off by the wheel. These are all factors. You got to go to the rail yard. You got to see the ladder. You got to see how close it is to the wheel. You got to plan this shit. And you got to, you, you just got to do your homework. Don't carry a backpack that's too heavy or heavier than you. Don't bring your living room, bedroom, and kitchen and, and, and everything else with you. Uh, I carry very, very little clothes. I ride hard rail. I mostly sleep on the trains I ride. And I backtrack during the nighttime. I make it back during the daytime so I can do my videos and I can see the scenery. Uh, once I'm done, I go home. I rest. I recover. And then I go back out again. And it's all part of hopping rail. This time of the year, the weather is too mess, messed up. April will be in the next few days. It's still cold. There's snow in the mountains. And a lot of rain. All that snow has got to melt. It's going to lead to track instabilities. It'll lead to a lot of stop and go, stop and go. And that's a crappy ride. So you want to let the weather break. You want to let the spring kick in. And then midway through spring, depending how it kicked in, I'll tell you whether or not you can get on a freight train. Until then, uh, get yourselves a good scanner, learn the frequencies, mark down what the frequencies are, um, memorize your stuff, get Google Alert, look at the track, follow the track from one state to another, see where it goes, learn what a 12-wheel locomotive, 8-wheel locomotive is. You don't get much boxcars that are open now. So learn about the junkers, learn about the hoppers, some are chemicals, some are fertilizers, some you don't want to ride, some you want to ride. Most beginners, they do hot shots because they're guaranteed to ride from one point to the next. And uh, I recommend that to, to most people. Problem with that is you can get caught easily because there's not really any place to hide. And that's the reason you want a scanner is because if they spot you, 
then you can hear that they spotted you. Like when he goes by, he's going to report that there's a person here, but I'll be gone by then. But normally he would report it and you'd hear the report and then they'll say they'll call 505, which means they're most likely calling the rail police and so on and so forth. Um, it's all part of riding rail. Gotta do your homework. There you go. Don't do your homework, you never get back home. Ride hard, ride safe. And join the FTRA. It's all about the American freight riders and the Canadian freight riders. Peace and love. Yeah, I got a burn from Northern Santa Fe coming here. Just sitting on the other side. I'm not sure what he's waiting for. CN Rail just went by. I got a CP coming by, but the other way from the US Minister. Must be in a couple hours from now. Another hour. And I think they're calling out the. Uh, I didn't hear their call. Normally when they speak that way it's because they're backing up and picking something up and that's how many feet they are away and then they uh, speak about clicks. So there you go. Good to hang around in the rally yard. You get to hear their lingo. You get to learn a bit. He's gonna back up one car, the length of one car. And then he's gonna coupler. So we're on a Burlington Northern Santa Fe frequency. Frequencies don't vary, there's about 120 frequencies in all on on the central central to western uh, part of america and all of canada uh, there's not many more left over and i've got 80 um secret no idea. i got about 80 secret uh, addresses i've punched in It'll give me frequency. It'll give me frequencies. Probably FMU with that VN units behind it. There's a CN train behind them, or a wagon, one or the other. Trying to, it's not going through. And beside him, it's not going through. Coming in this way. I'm programmed up to 200 channels, including the channels all the way over and on to it. Or not including those channels. So here we go. But that's coming in from the CP area. West coordinator ranch from the York channel, over. CP unit is moving dead and tow like a box car. The BN unit that you're coupling against is a good live unit. So when you put your two road units 
against the BN unit at the north end, that gives us a set of three units together, and that CP unit is just a dead box car that once you guys get shoved down into 10, uh, afternoon crew will sort it out and put it over to the scale. We'll sit there all weekend, the dead one. Sitting in the yard, it's really important you pay attention to what they're talking about. Does it also tell you where they're building up their line? Uh, okie dokies. I, if you can move it that way and there's no issues, fine. If not, and you have to set the CP unit over somewhere, uh, set it to a track and we'll sort it out later uh, if you need to. If you can move it the way it is, we'll sort it out with an afternoon crew down here. Well, it's a crappy day out here. It's raining, so I might just start singing a song, or I might just start complaining like Brave Dave. <laughs> that could call out here. I want to go home and have my tea. I need a tea, tea. I need a tea. There you go. Uh, it is what it is. This is all part of catching up. That's why we don't like people representing who and what we are. We ride hard rail. This is all part of it. And then, well, you got the other people who follow our videos, follow our blogs, follow our posts, pick up info, and they go riding rail, and they want to make it look like they're, I guess, the captains of the rail line. <laughs> And so, that's pretty sad. You got hobos to reflect on, you got tramps to reflect on, people who ridden rail way before me, who should be acknowledged and honored. Um, it is what it is. We live in the world of greed, and it's all about greed. I'm just gonna sit here for a little while longer. I'm not gonna bore you guys with this jargon. This is all part of doing your homework. I do this every year. Every year when I get a new scanner, or every year when I want to check the schedule so I can catch out where I can catch out from well I go and I spend days and days and weeks and weeks checking it out before I go for a ride and uh, here you go And if they see me sitting here, most likely they'll report it strictly like FTRC sitting under overpass. Uh, they'll name the overpass and then they'll deal with it that way. Or else they'll call uh, numbers out. The numbers they're calling is basically tell them that there's a trespasser close to the yard and that uh, he's not a desired trespasser. So there you go. Gotta do your homework. I'm gonna stay out of view. I'm gonna get up soon and walk around so I'm not really seen just sitting here. And uh, it's all part of it. You want to stay alive, you got to do your homework. And here we go. That's a CP train going across the uh, the other the other way. Anyways, there you go. Have fun and uh, stay cool and uh, be merry and practice caution. And stay alive. Your family wants you all home when uh, you finish your rides. Down 
Okay, I should scout the other channel, scan them because... Okay, releasing the air. I'll uh, do a set here shortly. That's just a BNSF uh, station. hard to listen to the radio, so I'm going to get a headset for it. I'm going to get an earpiece for it. It'll be the smartest thing to do. Because with all the rattling from the train there, it'll be difficult to hear what they're saying. Ready when you are, Morris. Okay, releasing. Uh, all yours, you're in charge. Okay, I got control. I'm releasing as well. Over to you, Mike. be the uh, CP train that was sitting in New Westminster a couple hours ago. And we didn't make sure I had my frequencies for CP rail and that worked real well. Including one frequency they went on to let the yard know I was standing, <laughs> standing there with a radio. That's why I'm looking for a digital... Am I, am I good to go back to Brownsville now? reason why I'm looking for a digital radio. Yeah, maybe one day I'll wash, I'll wash my gear. Maybe one day. <laughs> I don't think I ever will. Ah, it's a little cold today. Oh my beautiful garments. Kind of dirty. Clean hands. Hello, free, lined up north leg of the wild, give me the other 15. Fifteen. Morris, did you the gate? Yeah, here he comes. Hey, this way. Do you mind calling the gate? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go.